Huawei recently released their P50 series and man we have a lot of crazy things that happened there. They also compared it to the iPhone 12 so much I don't know the reason why but let's dive in. How's it going guys, Max here. So yes, yesterday Huawei finally unveiled their P50 series after the long long wait man. And there are a lot of skeptical things about the device but I won't really go in details for every single thing, no. Instead I will just try and touch all the major stuff that man I really feel that you guys need to know. And note yourself, this will actually make you guys say either wow or wait what? So the major question everyone had on their minds was how will Huawei make chipsets for their flagship since they are actually running out of chips and the American ban is still on them. So here's what they did. Some variants of the device will have the Kirin 9000 chipset which has been in use since last year September while um, the others will have the Snapdragon 888 4G. Yes, the devices do not support 5G which in 2021 is actually a deciding factor for most people when buying a flagship. And um, speaking of flagships, the two devices both have OLED screens as expected but with the base P50 we have a 6.5 inch 90Hz flat display. I don't really know the reason why they went with 90Hz but okay that's that. Then on the P50 Pro it has a 6.6 inch 120Hz curved screen. Yes, both of them are IP68 water and dust resistant. They only have two variants this year, the P4, the P50 and the P50 Pro, no P50 Pro Plus. And uh, the P50 Pro comes in five colors while the P50 comes in three colors. But I thought that it was the base model that has more colors, not the maxed out one. I don't know, but still, the P50 series will be the first devices to have Harmony OS out of the box, which is Huawei's new operating system that they are using in place of Android and they also said that by next year, more devices will get the Harmony OS all the way back to the Huawei P10 series. Wow, consistency. And now to talk about the major trademark for any P series, which are the cameras. The P50 series will have a 50 megapixel main camera and other camera specs that are displayed on the screen now but the major deal here is the zoom capability now in my previous video i leaked that the huawei p50 pro may have 200x zoom and uh, what actually happened yes huawei brought it to their p50 pro the base p50 has up to 80x zoom which is almost normal uh, while the P50 Pro has 200x zoom. Wow, I talked about this in that previous video and we came to the conclusion that it's not needed and I think Huawei actually knows this too because they barely talked about the 200x zoom for 30 seconds so why would they add this when they know that they won't actually, it won't be a deciding marketing factor for most consumers. Well, I really don't know but um, time shall tell when the reviews drop and uh, the Pro variant starts at 8GB of RAM with 128GB of ROM and should be well over $1000, putting it in positions to go against the Mi 11, S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So tell me what you think about this device down in the comment section, I'll keep you updated, peace.